I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update. Tonight, a man is dead after being shot by Metro Police. This happened by the Wetlands Park. Police say the man they killed was suspected of a home burglary. When officers caught up with him, they say he didn't listen to their verbal commands. Then police say he pulled out a knife and charged at an officer. That officer shot and killed him. Well, right now, the demand for COVID testing remains high as cases continue to rise. Tonight, the largest test site in the valley at UNLV is closed as county officials prepare to move operations to Sam Boyd Stadium to expand their capacity for testing. That site will open Sunday at 5.30 p.m. The county also closing a testing site in Mesquite today due to what they're calling unforeseen circumstances. The Southern Nevada Health District also sending a reminder tonight saying you should not go to the hospital for testing. There are plenty of other sites and we have a list at ktnv.com slash links. And right now, more people are becoming infected with the virus here in Clark County. The state health department reports a test positivity rate of more than 23%. On average, there are about 2,000 new cases confirmed every day. Danny. Our high made it back to the 60s today for the first time all year. Very pleasant conditions, and that puts us in the 50s through dinner time with a clear sky and calm wind. But tomorrow, the breeze does increase, especially for the second half of the day as clouds increase as well. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies uh, moving into Friday late afternoon. This just with a weak weather system, and that cloud cover and the breeze will move on moving into Saturday. So setting us up for a really gorgeous weekend. Expect a mostly sunny sky and highs close to 60 degrees uh, moving into the weekend in comfortable conditions. Stick around next week, Trisha. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.